I didn't record anything I just said and I had a feeling it wasn't and then it just shut off on me. I'm not about it. Anyways, me, I am moving officially from Georgia to Las Vegas and I am, today is gonna be the official day of me leaving Georgia and making that drive over. Thankfully, I'm not doing this by myself. I've got my mom and my stepdad with me and we're all just making that drive over to Las Vegas. We're starting today, but we're gonna go to Albuquerque first because we've got family there and it's Labor Day weekend. So we're gonna spend Labor Day with them and then on Tuesday, I will be getting to Vegas. So today it's currently Saturday. We are having a late start, but we've got a couple days to get to, to drive 20 hours. So we're gonna be splitting those hours driving wise but yeah I'm just gonna show you guys kind of like my car situation and all that it's all packed up and my dog is currently in this room whining because I think he thinks I'm leaving him or something because I travel so much and I he stays here but I think he thinks I'm like really leaving without him but I'm not I'm really not he's coming with so the point of this video or this vlog is just to take you guys on this journey with me over to Las Vegas and not to get too deep about it but it's like kind of like a soul searching journey as well so I'm excited to bring you guys along with me and see how this goes so yeah I'm gonna take you guys out to the car and show you what's what's going on all right you guys so huh There's my car, and then there's the car we are driving. And my car is literally filled, like, pretty much to the brim. We've got stuff in the trunk. And yeah, so we're gonna make this work. I've got a few more things I need to pack. Like, the stuff that I need in, like, the car with me, like, immediately. And that's pretty much it. So like my laptop and stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the, um, in the car. And so crazy, my bed does not fit. So I'm trying to decide if I want to bring my mattress and figure something out there. Or if I just want to bring an air mattress, sleep on that for a while, and then just go ahead and get a new bed. Because I did want a new bed anyway, eventually. But I did want eventually to have the two of them. So I may have my bed shift to me at another time when I get a bigger place. Because I'm moving to a very small place temporarily. So I'm trying to decide if I should just go ahead and get the bed I want there. But that's an expense I wasn't expecting to have. But maybe I leave my bed here. Like I said, this is kind of like a soul searching journey. So like I kind of am also cleansing myself of a lot of stuff. So like I'm leaving a lot of stuff at my parents' house that I don't want anymore. And like they, they can slowly get rid of it if they want to. But I kind of just took the necessities and the stuff that I could fit in my car. And to me, like I'm just cleansing. I took like a lot less clothes. I've been giving away a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to be a little bit more minimalistic, I guess. But yeah, so I've been talking for four minutes. I'm about to go finish pack up the car, get something to eat, and then we're gonna head out. We've got 20 hours to get to Albuquerque, and then, yeah, we've got two days to do it, so. Y'all, he is so upset. He, I feel like he literally thinks I'm leaving him. Hey bud, you've been crying all morning. Are you okay? You're fine. I'm gonna pack up his food, his um, food container, and that's pretty much it. And then pack him up. Are you ready to go to Vegas? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, you are. So ready.
at a hotel in Jackson, Tennessee, and we're about to keep driving. Here's Shadow. Shadow! Psst. Hey, how you doing? How you feeling? Tell us how you feeling today, Shadow. <laughs> yeah? Alright. Good talk. Hey guys, so it is currently 11.52 p.m. and we have stopped in Amarillo, Texas. Um, we're gonna be waking up like super early in the morning and heading over to Albuquerque. I think it's like six hours away or so, so I think we're leaving at like seven in the morning. So we're gonna get a few hours of sleep and then just hang out. But we've got like this really cool large um, hotel room. So my dog is just out here just running around. He's been cooped up in the car all day, so yeah, so we're just, uh, we're just gonna get settled in and then I'm gonna go ahead and head on to bed. All right, you guys, so, whoops, dropped my uh, lens cap. So we're all ready and we're packing up the car now to head out to Albuquerque. We're about four hours away, so we should be getting there around like lunchtime. Then we're gonna meet up with our family for Labor Day and have like a big family get together and stuff. And then tomorrow we'll take off on the rest of our journey to Las Vegas. So yeah, we stayed at this Red Roof Inn last night and they're super pet friendly, which I really like. The, the room is huge, so Shadow can like run around and play all he wants. And yeah, so a lot nicer than I thought it would be. So we're gonna just load up the car and then head on out to Albuquerque. and I was expecting good things and what it doesn't disappoint I'm surprised at the um, the how, how nice it looks you know? yeah it's still an upcoming yeah, area so we've pretty much moved all of my stuff in and kind of have it all in this corner right here all of my suitcases and whatnot and then over here we left this open because we're going to go get a bed soon. And once that is in, then I'll just kind of figure everything out from there. But yeah, you guys, this is my uh, Las Vegas apartment. It's super small, but I love it. It's just, it's just me and my dog. So it's not too much space. It's perfect for someone who's trying to start over fresh. And I have too much stuff. It looks like I've got a lot of stuff, but a lot of it are my bags that I put stuff in. So a lot of these bags, once they're emptied, they're going to be stored under my bed. So I'm excited to see how it turns out and just slowly decorate it as I go along because I don't really have any plans for it yet. So it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out in the long run. But yeah. So we're going to go now and like deal with the car stuff, return the U-Haul get the cars all cleaned out and go look for potentially a bed and some little furniture items that I need. But I'm in Vegas, you guys. It's happening. Ah! All right, bye. Hey, you guys. So not that you guys would probably be able to tell, but I haven't been uh, filming for the past couple of days because just a lot has been happening really, really fast. 
So I guess I'm just gonna kind of give you guys the quick rundown. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys the before of my room. It's kind of like a hot mess right now. Some things are placed where, the big things are placed where they need to be, but then I've just gotta figure out where all of the little stuff goes. So, and then I'm currently waiting for my mattress to come in. It should be coming in the mail in like any minute now, basically. So when that comes in, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and start clearing this space because I'm gonna need to put my bed there. And yeah, so this is the first time I'm at my part apartment by myself and this is Shadow's first time at all. He's been staying at the hotel because it is such a small space that he's kind of like really up under you all the time. So he would have just been in the way. There's a lot of moving, there's a lot of people in here and it's not a big space at all. So this is the first time I am in my apartment by myself. I am about to just kind of organize everything like I said and I haven't been filming for the past couple of days because just everything happened so fast. So we got in really late on I want to say Tuesday night and we just went straight into the hotel, checked in, went to bed, woke up the next day, was waiting kind of last minute to hear about the apartment and then everything just kind of happened that morning I got sent all of the paperwork had to sign everything, then we had to run to the bank to get the cashier's check, and then I came to the apartment, I paid for everything, and then I came up here to check it out. I hadn't even seen this place beforehand, you guys. Like, I just literally was like, okay. It felt like a hotel transaction. Like, I handed her the information, she handed me my keys, and was like, welcome to your place. And I was like, gee, thanks. And we walked in and basically just got everything out of my car. We had, we were pulling my car, so I had to like empty my car, take my car off of the trailer, take the trailer to the U-Haul. All of this in one day, you guys. Take the trailer to the U-Haul and then we went to get some last minute like shopping stuff for the apartment while we still had the two cars for extra space. And then we took the bigger car to the car wash and then dropped it off to its owner because we were basically transporting it from Atlanta to Vegas for my friend because she her car was there so we're like let's just use your car and then basically we've been in my car and then we've just been staying at the hotel because there's not a bed here i ordered my bed super last minute just kind of went last minute with there was a lot of beds that i really liked i wanted a prettier bed but i kind of went with a basic bed but I, it's kind of like a minimalistic thing and i'm kind of digging it right now i went with the cheapest option but I did get a really good mattress. I'm really excited about that. I did went, I did go in a little bit on a mattress, but I got a really, really good deal. So I'll do an unboxing of this mattress later just to show you guys, but yeah. So this was all on Wednesday. All of these things I have said is Wednesday. So clearly I didn't film anything. And there's a lot of driving involved, like in between to these places to run errands. We went to like five different stores. We went to Target, we went to Ross, Marshalls, we went to Walmart, we went to, we literally shopped all freaking day. Got a lot of stuff, like I got my bed frame, I got the side table, I got this really cool rack over here. I'll show all of you guys this stuff later, but um, I got a lot of stuff. I got, because I didn't bring much, I just brought the big stuff, and I, there's little things like, I got utensils and all this kind of stuff, and like dish soap, and like little random stuff you know um but the biggest thing i needed was a bed and i splurged and got a bookshelf and we went to ikea and yeah so i did a lot of shopping you guys but i am here now and i am going to just go ahead and organize everything this space is small as you guys can see this is my this is my bathtub my toilet is right here like, I'm in the kitchen, but I'm also in the toilet. You know what, you guys? This works. I like it. <laughs> it's small, but it works, and there's Shadow. So, yeah. I'm out here in Vegas, you guys. I'll probably make another, like, really deep emotional video on, like, the fact that I just decided to do something and I did it. Like, move across the country. And I did it. And if I think about it too hard, it'll freak me out. So that's why I probably shouldn't make this video for a while. <laughs> Cause like if I think about it, then I like I'm like crap. But like I said, I'm gonna spend the next five hours, four hours, 
I've got to get ready for dinner tonight. So I let my parents have the car. They're going to go check into their hotel. They're having their little weekend in Vegas. They've spent enough time with me, I'm sure. So they've got the car and they're out there frolicking in Las Vegas and I am going to be settling in at home. The lighting in here is really nice and I am a fan. I have great sunlight. So. I did it. I moved to Vegas. Hey, Shadow. How's it feel being in Vegas? You've been the best road dog, dude. He's been like kind of whiny and like kind of gassy, but he's really been there for me, so. He's my ride or die. It's hot out here though. So we gotta be careful. Drink lots of water. He's hype. Ho 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 ho. And so the whole thing's plastic wrapped as well, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's maybe. Shadow, look, more room for us to cuddle. Cover <laughs> over. Ten inch. So I feel like this already looks like 10 inches. Yeah. I'm gonna get the thing and measure it. Like eight. Well, like almost nine. It's almost at nine. Hey you guys. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm like 80% tipsy right now. Cause I went out to dinner. We had some Italian food and I may or may not have had a couple of glasses of wine. But my mattress finally came in. It came in, I guess, uh, I got a text message saying that it was gonna come in by like 8 p.m., which I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it because the office to my apartment closes at like 6 p.m. And I didn't know if they would deliver it to my door or not, but they did. And as you guys saw in like the previous clips of my stepdad un um, unboxing it for me, here is the bed now and I'm really happy with it. It's really firm, it's really nice, and it's been open now for maybe about an hour. The instructions said to leave it open for about, four, give it about 48 hours. And this is supposed to be a 10 inch mattress. So right now we're sitting at about nine inches. So, and it's only been about an hour and it did say to give it this like, um, up to 48 hours to fully inflate so I mean I'm just not <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go go ahead and sleep on it tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and put my sheets on it get my pillows all situated because this is a white bed I have a black dog that sheds a lot so I'm gonna just go ahead and protect it because there's already pet hair on this and I'm not a fan of that shadow what are you looking at He's been staring at the door. So this is our first night in our new apartment, you guys. Ah! It's kind of crazy, but I'm out here in Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. Because I decided one day that I wanted to move out here. And like maybe three months later, here I am in Las Vegas, Nevada, and my parents, they're still in town, but it's their last night in town, and they just left, because I wanted to spend the night here by myself for the first time while they're still in town, just so I can kind of feel like my security blanket is still here, I guess. So like if I need anything or if I feel a little too nervous, I can just call them and they'll come get me, I guess, I don't know. But like I said, I'm a little tipsy, you guys. <laughs> you want to take your harness off? Because you've been wearing it all day. I like to take his harness off at night. Just so he can breathe. Because, no, that's not comfortable. He's also, like, balding on his lower half. So I know, like, the chafing from the harness probably doesn't help on his skin. So. Yeah. 
I'll find a place to put that. Everything has a place. Everything will have a place. I think tonight I'm going to just go ahead and maybe organize like the shower area so I can use that tomorrow. And then just go to bed. I'm tired. I am very, very tired. Put some sheets on this thing. Maybe edit the photos I took earlier. My skin is itchy and dry. And I'm breaking out in like a heat rash as opposed to like acne. It's weird. And I don't appreciate it. My piercings are healing kind of weirdly as well. But it's, it hasn't been that long so I think they're still just healing. Alright.